When working with JavaScript arrays of objects, these can get pretty complex, but we can simplify them by extracting only the object properties we need and place them into a new array. Examples like we see here are pretty common in JavaScript. All we have is an array containing three product objects. Each one of these product objects has been simplified for this demo and only includes the bare minimum ID and also product title. This could maybe be a local array of items which we store, or this data can be pulled in from a backend, a database, or an API. As mentioned, this is a pretty simple example, but it could be much more complex. And as you can imagine, we could have lots more product data nested inside, and often leaving us with more information than we actually need. For this example, I'm going to imagine we only need the product IDs, and then we'll extract all of the IDs out of this array, and place them into a new array. First of all, before we go any further, if you are using something like GraphQL, it would make sense to only request the data we need in the first place. But if we did already have the data just like this, we can begin by creating a new constant to store our new array. So constant, let's call this the extracted IDs. And then to extract these, we need to loop over our initial array, which is called all products. And for this, we'll make use of the array method called map. Map will run a function for each one of the values inside of all products. So in our case, it will run three times. And on each loop, each one of these values or objects will be stored inside of a variable, which I'm going to call product. And then all we want to do here is to return a new value, which we're going to be storing inside of this constant. So in our case, we want to return the product dot id so just to clarify the product is the full object such as this one on the first loop this one on the second loop and this one on loop number three and then we filter down this product to only return the id and if you wanted to you could also do the same for the title too let's check this works placing a console log for the constant called extracted ids reload the console and we now have a new returned array with our free ID values. And also just to be clear for this, we need to make use of the map method. The reason we use map rather than something such as for each is because of this returned value. If we take a look at the Mozilla documentation, we can see when we use the map method, this will create a new array with the results of the provided method. So this is creating a new array, but if we were to use something like for each, this will also run a function for each one of the array values, but the key part here is down in the return value. We can see we don't get anything returned back from this function. So in this case, the map method is the way to go to create a new array with all of the values which you want to extract.